This is the Unihertz Jelly 2E, one of the smallest 4G phones running Android 12. Here it is in comparison to a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And here's a comparison to the size of a quarter. Let's take it apart and look at the inside. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a look at that. There's a single T4 or Torx 4 screw on the bottom which needs to be removed. There are plastic catches around the frame of the screen which are holding it down to the housing. So you'll need to get a pry tool in between the frame of the screen and the back housing and run along the edges to pop off the catches. The screen can be lifted up from the left to the right. There are two Phillips screws which need to be removed. The flex cables for the screen can now be disconnected. On the back of the screen there are thermal pads which sit on top of the processor, the RAM and other chips. And these thermal pads help transfer heat away from the components. The EP speaker is located on top and it's held down with some adhesive. And next to it is the proximity sensor board. The battery flex cable can also be disconnected. And there are seven Phillips screws which need to be removed. There are two more flex cables which need to be disconnected. At this point, the main board can be lifted up and removed. The SIM card and memory card reader is located here, and the 8 megapixel front facing camera is located on top. Here's a better look at the processor and RAM. Looking at the other side, we can see the 16 megapixel primary camera. This camera does not have OIS or optical image stabilization. The USB C charger port is located on the bottom corner and soldered to the board, and the microphone is located on the other corner. There are two Phillips screws which need to be removed. The plastic cover can be lifted up and removed, revealing the connectors for the cameras which can be disconnected by just popping them off. To remove the battery, there is some adhesive underneath it so you have to gently pry it off. Here is a better look at the 2000 mAh battery. This plastic assembly can be removed from the housing. Here's a better look at the headphone jack. There are some antenna lines drawn on this plastic assembly which are the light gray color lines. And the infrared or IR blaster is located on the other side. The speaker assembly can also be removed. There are some more antenna lines drawn on this plastic cover and there's a mesh filter and rubber gasket over the speaker opening. The vibrator motor is located on this side. The flex cable for the LED flash is located here, and this flex cable is for the fingerprint reader. So if you need to replace the fingerprint reader, you gently heat up this area and push out on the fingerprint reader from the back, so you'd pry it off from the housing. The camera lens cover itself is held down with some adhesive, so if you needed to replace that, you could just heat it up and pry it off. You wouldn't have to disassemble the phone. And the back housing itself is made of some strong plastic. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 5.5 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, power on the phone and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.